The five number summary of a data set consists of the minimum data value, quartile one, the median or quartile two, quartile three, and the maximum data value. These five values break up the data set into four parts or four subintervals, where each part or each subinterval contains 25% of the data values. Let's use this to complete the following statements. In general, what percent of the values in a data set lie at or below the first quartile? Well, here's quartile one, and we can see 25% of the data values, these data values here, lie at or below quartile one. Next, what percent of values in the data set lie at or below the third quartile or quartile three? Well, here's quartile three. The percent of values at or below quartile three would be these data values here, which is 75%. 75% of the data values lie at or below quartile three. Next, if a sample consists of 240 test scores, how many of them would be at or below the second quartile or quartile two, which is the median? Well, we can see that 50% of the data values lie at or below quartile two, which means 50% of the 240 test scores would be at or below the second quartile. 50% of 240 is equal to half of 240 or 120, which we can also determine by converting the percent to a decimal and multiplying, which gives us 0 0.5 times 240, which is 120. So if a sample consists of 240 test scores, 120 of them would be at or below the second quartile, which again is the median. And then for the last statement, if a sample consists of 2,000 test scores, how many of them would be at or above the first quartile? We need to be careful here because all the other statements involved data that was at or below a specific quartile, and here we want the number of test scores that are at or above quartile one. And here's quartile one. We know from the first statement, 25% of the data values are at or below quartile one, which means 75% of the data values must be at or above quartile one, these data values here. So we need to find 75% of 2,000 to answer the question, which is equal to 0 0.75 times 2,000, which is equal to 1,500. So if a sample consists of 2,000 test scores, 1,500 of them would be at or above the first quartile. I hope you found this helpful.